electrification is now recognized as a megatrend, hence with decreasing impact on our life. Hydrogen used in fuel cells is flagged as an enabler for electrified heavy transportation. But how is green hydrogen produced? What are the requirements to succeed? Electrolysis is the process where water and electricity are converted into hydrogen and oxygen. Depending on the technology used, higher water temperature requires less electrical energy. There are mainly three types of electrolyzers, uh, polymer electrolyte membrane, alkaline, and solid oxide. The one that you see here is a polymer electrolyte membrane. Physical modeling is a convenient way of designing a powerful concept across domains, electrical, fluid, thermal. In this video, we are going to see how solar photovoltaic energy is used to generate hydrogen through electrolysis. Now we'll go through the model and the different uh, components in such a system. First, the representation of a solar panel as a current source with the radiance as an input. In practice, the more sunlight, the higher value of irradiance. It is worth mentioning that in our Simscape Electrical Library, you'll find ready made components such as fuel cells or, or even solar photovoltaic cells. The second element is the DC-DC converter. By regulating the output voltage from the DC-DC converter, we decide how much energy is taken by the electrolyzer. The electrolyzer unit is a custom-made component created with Simscape language. It consists of a water tank, two electrical connections, a warming resistor, and an outlet for hydrogen. Heater current and flow in the water pump are dynamically regulated based on temperature and level, respectively. Finally, the hydrogen outlet is connected to a storage tank with prescribed temperature. The assumption is that hydrogen is semi-perfect. Properties depend only on temperature. We have two control strategies for converter regulation. Open loop or closed loop with a feedback current from the solar photovoltaic cells. The set point d theta determines the maximum voltage and hence the power drawn by the electrolyzer. If we run a MATLAB script, you will see how the set point in the range 6 to 14 affects the produced amount of hydrogen in kilogram per hour. Now we'll use a closed loop control. The higher irradiance on the panels, the higher current is fed to the electrolyzer. We can observe some results of current on both photovoltaic and electrolyzer sites, voltage, hydrogen pressure, and even consume energy over three hours. We can even see the hydrogen mass rate in kilogram per hour. Simscape gives us the possibility to log physical quantities, such as level in the tank, heater current, water temperature, electric current, efficiency in the electrolysis process, and even density of water in the tank. 
is technology and engineering around green hydrogen interesting for you? Do you plan projects on microgrids and renewable energy integration and management in coming months? Would physical models help you develop and certify software faster? If that is the case, please feel free to reach us at MathRox at any time. If you love electrical technology, you're welcome to watch the two previous videos in the series. Thanks for watching.